Welcome to Dominations. My name is Mark, and yet it's time for another Let's Farm episode. So, oh, my vault is full. Um, currently, I have taken, I have taken, I think, um, a closer look to the university and um, recognized that besides my current plans um, about, oh, I have to turn the game to English, I think, besides my current plans to um, do all the sensible research, which is decreasing the amount of citizens which is needed for the university, as well as the uh, um, re time reduction, so finishing Leonardo da Vinci as well as King Sejong. Um, there's a pretty interesting chapter about units. So far, I think most of the players have forgotten, and I personally also do not use anymore, and I'm talking about the APCs. They are called in German MTV, so I mean uh, troop producing or troop spawning um, assault vehicles. The IMU, I have used them quite in um, Atomic Age, so also some years ago, two years I think, and they are getting pretty decently boosted by the university um, below or with our newest uh, leader, which is called uh, Wu Zetian. Probably it's also her English name. I will turn the game to English first. So sideways, while um, boosting my current World War attack composition, so the commandos, uh, my planes, <coughs> and decreasing or increasing enemy defender spawn time, I am collecting World War artifacts already for my infantry troops, because it's pretty obvious the um, factory troops so the MTVs, or APCs, better to say in English, it's APC, uh, are spawning infantrymen, and I have no interest about increasing the APC damage, which is pretty ridiculous. I mean, it's a Gatling gun, or not, it's a Gatling gun, it um, looks like caliber, caliber 50, but it's a machine gun on top. Nevertheless, like uh, I can remember, I think, I haven't tried them so far, after two years of Atomic Age, but what I can remember is they ha have no suppression. So they are not working like uh, Gatling guns, who also have uh, machine guns. Uh, otherwise, the APC could be pretty valuable, but like I remember, they do no suppression. If they do, just correct me in the comments. But therefore, the damage of the APC itself is not valuable, in my opinion. Probably the APC hit points, because being more durable, getting more damage without dying and keep on keeping on uh, heavy infantry uh, deploying. But primarily, I'm interested in getting the uh, um, DPS, so the damage of the infantry guys spawning from the APC increased when I want to use it. Secondary, also the hit points. The problem about the hit points is some kinds in some situation I can remember, especially due to the silo. Uh, issue in some situations when I played them in Atomic Age, uh, the APCs did not die, so they continuously spawned troops, and each of the troops, um, each of the troops, is an infantry guy, and those infantry guys themselves have already 1,300 hit points. So let's only calculate about five APCs. They are spawning three infantrymen, and those three infantrymen together have 3,900 hit points. So you have 3,900 hit points multiplied by five APCs, so you are getting a spawn wave of approximately 15 to 18,000 hit points, and my ones are not even finished in research. So they can be definitely stronger, and being boosted by the museum or probably coalitions. Now the issue is that the amount of your hit points which are clustered and pretty close together is being able to be increased dramatically within a few seconds. So in some situations the silo may uh, change its, uh, its attention uh, away from the uh, mercenaries and generals, so from the deception troops which should track the attention of the silo and fire to your main troops and then it's pretty much over like you can already imagine i think so it's not that easy and i would definitely not focus for the uh, spawned infantry hit points first but i want um i would uh, yeah focus for the infantry damage first let me see i think i took my yeah i took both of my um vault uh, vault artifacts in. Let's clear the vault and then go to the multiplayer. 
I need some more gold to participate in uh, the Alliance Parliament research. By the way, it's pretty great in my opinion that the Alliance Parliament research is even being able to be conducted while uh, the Parliament is upgrading. So it doesn't matter whether your Parliament is whether your Parliament is uh, upgrading or not. You can simply pa uh, participate and get some bonus to your alliance. Oh, come on. So let's see. I think today I have already par participated. Yeah. The alliance where I'm currently at has changed. So I am at another alliance. And over the here they have uh, focused for quite... Um, yeah, another branch. They went for education instead of allied relations. I can just simply, uh, yeah, repeat what I've already uh, recommended. Go for allied relations. Go for legal contributions and legal costs. They will make your life way, way uh, easier and faster in the future to research other branches. So you are just simply getting getting it done faster in all other branches. And therefore, I think I will contribute over here. I mean, it's their lines. They can decide what to, to research. But that is definitely not my personal preference. So, okay, took anything from the vault, got new oil in. I will do some attacks. And when my troops are retraining, I will talk about... Uh, the infantry and APC topic slightly more. Oh, that was wrong. Okay. About the APC and infantry uh, topic a little bit more. So what are some side goals of me uh, sideways from my main troops? Where is the... Oh, that was a screenshot. Uh, first, I wanted to get my expeditions to being done. I have five citizens. Uh, the top one is not interesting me. I simply focus for uh, supply goods like most of you. Uh, probably we can take revenge to someone who attacked me previously. Um, my mercenaries are still, because I lost my mercenaries within the last fight, I were unable to press video retrain. Uh, the game crashed and all of my mercenaries uh, were gone away. Therefore I had to wait uh, to get again from my... Um, video rewards again three more mercenary tanks i can call in some heavy tank destroyers now i have some over here so i will uh, waste my current mercenaries to get these stronger ones in and hopefully not lose them again um yeah let's try so we are at uh, revenging someone who attacked me uh Previously, I think one or two hours ago. Actually, that's not a lot of oil for a lot of risk. Um, nevertheless, I think I will attack him due to the fact that I have to get rid of my mercenaries. Uh, I have the old atomic mercenaries and I want to uh, substitute them with the heavier tank destroyers. Let's see where to deploy my sabotage, 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 okay. Oh no, there was one wave of bazookas. Yeah, so I think this worked pretty good. So far I haven't even have oh I haven't even had huge losses. Most of my commanders seem to be alive. But I lost my generals. Yep. 
Yeah, now the losses are pretty much higher. Lost half of my troops, uh, commandos and bazookas. Come on, get the missile silo. Yeah, thank you. Okay, lost all of my bazookas. Ah, some. Is this a tank or is it as is this an attack vehicle? I don't know. Probably it was an attack vehicle from the armored ambush trap. They are pretty strong. Lost all of my bazookas now, so I have to get for the oil. I hope I'm quite understandable. I think I should be understandable. I had to change my phone. And the new phone has a slightly other uh, direction or location of its uh, microphone as well as the, uh, yeah, whatever, where the volume and where the sound is exiting the device. Oh, yeah, it was an armored, uh, an assault vehicle from Armored Ambush Trap before it looked similar to what appeared over here. So I only got three stars, but most of the resources. That was pretty okay, I think. Yeah, it was not a lot, but for revenge it was quite okay. So now do not retrain my mercenaries, get the new ones, I have to remember. So now had my fingers crossed and before retraining my troops, I have to get the mercenaries first. Over here we have some heavy tank destroyer. I had three of them, then the game crashed and... Heh. Oh, oh no, 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 oh no! The game lagged and now I have a couple of heavy tanks over here. Fucking damn it. Yeah, pretty nice. So now I have three heavy tanks, however, I don't need them. So I have to get rid of the heavy tanks. It's so annoying that the game lagged and when I was hitting at the mercenaries, yeah. <sighs> however, uh, what I wanted to tell is, um, so after having conducted Leonardo da Vinci, which is keeping a lot of time with his last researches for the heavy tanks, I mean, they cost oil, that's annoying enough. But uh, besides of costing oil each time, seven fucking uh, citizens for over 12 days. So I have to get two, two stages at the heavy tank damage and another two stages at the heavy tank hit points. So this should be easily 48, if not even 50 up to 60 days, which are two months before I, have getting, get, uh, before I got it finished. Uh, it looks like 95 of 100 researches, yeah, well, it's pretty fairly to the end. No, it isn't actually, it's very annoying. And then after those 50 up to 60 days approximately, the capstone also has to be researched. I'm not pretty sure, but it should be around 5 up to 7 citizens and about 7 days to get the capstone. I have a lot of uh, food in, I can put it inside the walls. Oh no, my walls are finished. Yeah, so, okay, uh, let's see, can I spend it inside one of my artifacts? Do I have enough blueprints? 1500, no. Yeah, so let's go to the multiplayer and waste my heavy tanks, which I uh, trained accidentally. Yeah, let's try it over here. I will use two of my heavy tanks, hopefully to get through and take the oil. I also forgot about, I have to waste one plane. 
I also forgot about... Uh, oh, there is a heavy tank coming out. No. No. Yeah, so now I'm losing more planes. Yeah, I forgot about turning on an artifact, which is helpful for my troops, uh, for my heavy tanks. Could have done this. Hopefully he's getting done this. Oh, 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 Take my plane, please, take my planes. Oh, come on. Come on, he's nearly done. No, no. No. <laughs> uh. Actually, it's pretty funny to see that my heavy tanks seem to be pretty much um, weaker than I have them, than I can remember them. When I use them, approximately, I don't know, one or two ages below, so Atomic or Cold War age, they felt a lot stronger. Yeah, obviously times times uh, do change. <sighs> Man with boss, actually this alliance, I can remember them. Someone of them, I think, attacked me last week. I'm not sure. Yeah, so let's get out and wait for my planes to re be retrained. A lot of accidents today. So what I wanted to tell you initially is about uh, the new researcher, Empress Wu Zetian, Wu Zetian, however you know what I mean. Um, we are able to research factory APC upgrade cost about uh, 10 times 2%, so in some, in some 20%, which is okay. Uh, factory APC upgrade time, 10 times 3%, so 30% reduced upgrade time. It's nice, but it's not uh, important in the battle due to the fact that if you have con researched the highest stage, uh, this chapter will not bring you any, any dis difference or any advantage, but factory AP3 troop damage. Pretty interesting. Over here we get exactly what I wanted to focus previously. Not the factory troop APC HP, but the damage of the troops which are getting spawned by the APC. And what is also pretty insane, uh, three times one additional infantryist coming out of the APC. So currently we have three troops, I think. Let me prove or check it. We have... Yeah... First deployment cooldown, three seconds, three heavy bonus were per deployment. So we have three troops per deployment from our APCs and we can double this amount to six troops from our APC. Um, in some, I'm not pretty sure. Uh, in some, it was previously that the APC is able to produce three waves of troops, I think. So if no troop of the APC is dying... Uh, the APC is generating about three times three troops, so nine troops per APC. But I'm not pretty sure. It could also be four waves. I had tested it when I was a guest in Stepmaster's uh, Estonian Alliance a few years ago. I will definitely have to get some further research and tests in to see how this is behaving probably in the future 
because if it is still, for example, a maximum of nine, tr nine troops getting uh, deployed by the APC, and you are deploying six troops, which each, with each wave you are simply producing them faster, but the total amount nevertheless is kept and has a gap, quite, uh, so an end. Uh, but if it is, for example, getting six troops out each, wa each wave, but you can still do three or four, probably even four waves in total, we would have about 18 or even 24 infantrists per APC, and uh, we are able to take, I don't know what's a sensible troop comp composition, I think four up to seven APCs probably, if you are Roman, even more. That's very interesting, especially currently, where most of the players obviously are playing Germans, some are even playing uh, Romans, but both nations have the infantrists as their nation-specific group. Um, the Germans of me, of mine, and most players have 20% more damage, and I think the Romans have more health. Yeah, they have 25% more health. So probably it could also get slightly dangerous for Roman players having high health infantrists and more APCs, more infantrists with more health getting spawned. Yeah, probably that could be uh, difficult with the missile silo not to target them. But we will see. So what I wanted to say is after having researched uh, Leonardo da Vinci as well as King Sejong and got one less citizen for each research and 10% less research time, I will uh, uh, finish Empress Wuzetian first due to the interesting new troop compositions which I will then also use in multiplayer and in some world wars which are not that important. Probably I will also uh, test those APC troops, but the um, capstone of uh, Empress Wuzetian is also 10% at library uh, research faster, so same like King Sejong, so in total t minus 20%. It's definitely sensible that I finally go for it. I haven't done it so far and I think some players who have already done it are or got already faster in the university than I was due to this mistake. Yeah, but I'm futurely up to correct it. World War is currently getting searched over here. We have 9, uh, 9 p.m. in the evening, I think. It's called a.m. or p.m. I think p.m. It's in the evening, 9 o'clock and nearly 9 o'clock in the evening. And um, in my museum, my one of my offense artifacts is still upgrading to uh, level 5, one day and four hours. Probably I will have to speed it up uh, when the World War is getting, getting matchmaked right now. I will have 23 hours, so yeah, I have to finish it up or speed it up for about five hours if we get f uh, matchmaked now. Let's go to the multiplayer. I don't have enough planes, but I will do some side raiding to get some oil until I have at least four planes. Chaos, chaotic devil, okay. Most of the resource production buildings are empty. Probably you can get some, oh no, forest defenders. Yeah, we can get some oil in. Where are the other oil wells? Okay, they are inside. Hmm. Come on, thank you. Yeah, it was okay. Also dropping some medals. I'm again above 3000 medals. I can remember being in the Enlightenment Age, hoping sometime to get above 3000 medals and when you get there automatically it has no value for you anymore. That's ridiculous, it's funny. Oh, when retraining my troops I saw it's a museum re-rolling event. Um, re-rolling benefits on museum artifacts cost 50% less, so 50% less crowns should be 50 crowns then. For a limited time, expanding your artifact storage capacity will also cost 50% less. So what is it, about 125 crowns? I'm not sure anymore. I mean, I don't have a lot of crowns, but... Come on. No? Oh, wow, sometimes my device is pretty laggy. Yeah, 125. Probably I could re-roll something. Hmm. 
No, definitely not. Also not, that's pretty dope. Also pretty good. Yeah, that's not pretty pretty nice. Mm. Enemy air defense damage is good. Enemy anti-tank gun is obsolete. Anti-tank gun hit points. Let me see. Tower damage is good. Um, let's see for the World War Hall. Oh. Bazooka damage. No, I can use this definitely. No. Question mark. Oh, I can see it. Well, I have to get to it over here through the storage. Let's see where is the upgraded one. There we have it. Fighter damage, no, also definitely not reroll this. Invading bazooka, no. Guerrilla hit points, also not. Air defense damage is okay. All defensive towers hit points is good. Air defense damage. All defensive tower hit points is not a lot, it's only 1%, but the... Um, the attribute is pretty good. I think I will reroll something from my uh, multiplayer. Mm. I could try over here. Probably I will get that would be really nice. Another all resources looted. Shall we try it? I mean, I have about 300 crowns, so we could reroll it six times. Yeah, I think I will try it. Enemy anti tank gun damage is only interesting for my paratroopers. Minus 15% enemy air defense hit points. It's also not bad. I'm unsure. I'm really, really not sure, guys, whether to roll it or to go on rolling. A lot of times I rerolled my artifacts and I got something which was quite okay, but I did want to get more. And when wanting to get more, there was a streak of about 20 times to reroll it when only really shit attributes came out of it. Really shit. I will go for heavy infantry damage. Probably will get a higher one and probably even a better one than infantry damage of enemies getting reduced. Inva okay, it's even worse. Invading APC damage? No, come on. Who, which player is currently playing APCs? Uh, that's pretty okay. Actually, yeah, I will get this. And I get my last try, hopefully. Come on. My last try for this one over the enemy air defense hit points. Come on, please, nothing, nothing crappy. Yeah, that's really crappy. Thanks. I, that's exactly what I meant. Enemy redoubt hit points minus one percent. You can completely, completely forget about. Damn it. So at least four planes and some of my, most of my. Commandos are retrained. We can go for multiplayer again. Seven thousand oil. That's a lot. Oh, we have also level eighty generals. So pretty active player. Uh, no, not with only four planes. Eight thousand three hundred of oil. Sometimes it's slightly laggy. I don't know why. Digital age also. Mm. The defender spawning buildings are actually not very high. I could give it a shot. Well, it's pretty risky. Yeah. Who cares? I think the use of my planes really early on in the battle was pretty good. I got all of the uh, bazookas done. The bazooka, uh, the rocket arsenal is also killed or destroyed. 
but I do not want to lose any more planes so I have to be really careful I think most of the base actually is done we have not a lot of defenders I have not lost a lot of troops yeah I lost six of my commandos so half of them but for only having four planes it's quite okay oh I lose another no, not another plane. Nice, so the quick victory is gone. Actually, I did not hope for the quick victory, not with this troop constellation. Now I have to make some thoughts how to get even, uh, how to get the resources. So first, okay, troops are green, so we have done all of the uh, defense buildings. Now let's rally them close to the oil and the town center and get some exposed buildings with my infantrymen. Let's see, is there something inside the farms? Oh yeah, actually there's also something inside the farms. The producing buildings are pretty high at the space, so farms and caravans. Oh, flame tank, come on. We got the oil? No, we did not got the oil. A lot of oil actually is outside, inside the drill towers. Where? Ah, the commandos are running to the uh, parliament. Yeah, actually, I have already talked about the parliament has a range, like defense buildings, and commando troops are targeting the um, parliament, so obviously, the parliament will have some defense function in the future. Why otherwise should it has first a range like defense buildings? Only buildings which have uh, which are defensively related such as uh, the houses with the new capstone of uh, Harriet Tubman. So spawning defenders if you got the capstone of Harriet Tubman in the university. Also all defenders spawning, all ordinary defender spawning buildings, all shooting buildings, all of them have ranges. No economic building has a range. Um, and the parliament also has a range. Additional to this, commandos are focusing for the parliament like it would be a defense building. That's a, a very, very clear hind, in my opinion, towards a future function of the parliament. What do you think about? Pretty okay. Huh. Also too many generals. Generals are pretty high. Are some of the oil wells outside? I mean, it looks inactive. So the producing... No, <laughs> all oil wells actually are in and it's also a closed base. Yeah, not good to attack with commandos. Huh. How is it possible to have exactly zero food? Ah, okay, by upgrading all of your farms. Exactly, yeah, that's pretty sensible. We got all of the oil outside. It's an inactive base, so that could be pretty lucrative. No, no, yes. Yeah, that is pretty lucrative. No, don't get the flame tank. Uh, no, we can't get some f some gold. Food also not. Come on, come on. Yeah, it looks good. That was actually pretty okay. I'm happy for this. Hmm. Oh yeah, the ordinary world war. 
discussions when to start, who to take with. We have 23 people, but we need 25 or 20. Not a lot of oil. Hmm. Oh, again, inactive base. Yum, yum. No, not that yum, yum. Uh, the resources are trapped inside and we got a rocket arsenal. I have only six of my commandos that will not be good. Six thousand oil, ten thousand additionally possible. It's not inactive yet, but there are no severe blessings, no rocket arsenal, only one high-level bunker, and I could get this high-level bunker early on. Okay, yeah, let's get for it. And eight plates again. Planes, planes, planes. Oh, one plane, bye bye. Mm. Oh, two planes gone. Where is the rocket arsenal? Is it already gone? I want to get five stars. Oh no. No, I think I will be too late. Yeah, too many of my bazookas died. Oh, now I'm also losing all of my commandos. No. Yeah, at least I saved the commandos. But the planes are heavily damaged. Come on, don't go for Townsend, please. Is there any more tower? No, the last towers and air defenses are all outside of here. Go for the air defense, please. Pl please go for the air defense. No, the plane will die. No. What? No. So let's see, where is the oil? Mm, mostly inside. Uh, mostly inside the oil refinery. Let's first get all of the defense buildings, otherwise I will lose my troops. Yeah, green troops, so all of them are done. Get for the oil. Go for the oil. So if you are not getting 5 stars, let us get 0 stars, but nevertheless some resources. Yeah, I wanted to get 5 stars, but it did not actually work like I planned it. It's more often that case like you actually might think. So in multiplayer when I'm simply attacking without a lot of planning, a lot of things turn to be uh, or turn out to be other than I planned them to have. Oh a lot of diamonds. No, I want to get those diamonds. Hmm. Oh, when I'm looking to my troops, I can actually see that I think my armory. Yeah. Nice, my armory isn't fully upgraded. So 
14 million. Yeah, I can store 14.7 million. I could go for the armory next to upgrade. I think I have to upgrade the... Uh, I have to get done the researches first in the armory. But afterwards, I can use probably some of my uh, current citizens which are inside the dock for upgrading the armory so that I can, so that I can get finally also my infantrymen to the uh, space age level which will uh, what will make it more easy for me to use the apcs afterwards they are spawning infantrymen like we know um, i have also conducted the last bunker so i got both of, both of my bunkers to level uh, six so world space age um, maximum and i think i can do the air defenses one time more yeah I can do them one time more to level 8, so I have to level uh, two of my air defenses once and three of my air defenses twice. My towers, I only have three left, one already upgraded, two upgraded, three upgraded, four upgraded, five upgraded, yeah, three missing, okay. I have 194,000 of oil, that's a lot of oil and I actually do not want to get offline with it. But if I put it inside a new research, the armory will even be blocked longer than it actually is. I could go for another Shukov upgrade, it's only 2 days so it is within the 6 days and 15 hours for my heavy tank. Yeah, I think I will do this. So I don't have that much oil laying around. I get Shukov to level 40 and the armory is working. That's a pretty good deal. Again, an inactive base. Here are a lot of inactive bases actually. I don't know why. Ah, nice, tanked forest defenders. Instantly, instantly spawning next to my troops. I hate this. They are so random. pretty okay only for dropping infantrymen it's loading so world war still searching it would be nice to see what are our opponents so you can already uh, look forward to know probably <laughs> about what fights against which alliance the next uh, domination episodes will be about six stars I need only six more stars to get the victory chest okay five thousand five hundred oil no generals but the oil drill towers are ridiculously low and most resources start no Blessings active, general 1170, yep. Oh, 8000 oil. I see triggered traps, high level walls. But what the fuck? <sighs> we have a lot of spawn buildings actually outside. I could go for the entire base. I know that's a lot. I don't see a rocket arsenal. Am I blind? I don't know. Oh. So if there are a lot of uh, spawning buildings outside, 
the spawn, uh, the defenders will be eliminated pretty early on. And in the very inner side, you only have shooting buildings, which are completely no problem for commandos. Looks pretty good so far. I mean, I most obviously will not get the quick victory, I think. But I only have a l very little troops with me. So that, yeah, that was no wonder. But four stars are completely possible. Yeah, nearly all defensive buildings erased. My planes have no severe damage. I mean, the traps uh, were triggered, so that's not a big deal, or that was not uh, hard to achieve. All defensive buildings done, let's get for the town center. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> Four stars also is pretty a uh, pretty a lot only for having four bazookas with me, but actually I could go for a lot of those resources. The red, ah, over here, the oil refinery is completely exposed. It's a really strange layout, by the way. No, don't go for the factory, please. No, don't go for the factory. more percent come on please yes yeah, thank you that was great so we are at nearly 84 uh, at nearly 50 minutes I will do a last attack uh, most of the subscribe subscribers so that those subscribers of you who already or who posted me a comment said that they are preferring longer let's farm episodes from all other ones i did not hear any voice therefore uh, i tried to get this wish and produce again longer let's farm episodes with let's cats uh, yeah let's get for or try to get for the victory chest three more stars seven thousand oil generals blessings active Actually, why not? But I have no possibility to trigger those generals. I have no decoy anymore. No. 7,000 of oil. But the resource buildings are pretty full. So it seems to be in the very center of the base. <laughs> no oil at all. Okay. Yeah, come on, so let's get the resources.
Oh, I actually don't need any food. My food is completely full. No, go for the... Oh, no, please. Oh. side <sighs> so thanks for watching we'll see us soon most likely with a world war tech your domination tips